So we know that is a proven fact. Look it proven up. Proven fact. And we get to see just the Pichu live on. Coming up against Bowser, which normally you want to space out Bowser a little bit. Pichu has to hold forward in some cases. Yeah. Uh oh. A, a true David versus Goliath matchup here. That was 52, huh? Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Part of me was like, is that a dead Pichu? But uh, yeah. But no. But no. <laughs> like, I mean, on, I, on a different stage on a platform, absolutely. Yeah. You have to exert your will over Bowser, and that's exactly what some guys starting to do. Getting these back airs out of shield. Ooh, a wall jump. Yeah. But good patience from Diego's part, realizing that if you can get to ledge, you can survive a couple more interactions. Playing slow but careful. Very little buttons from D Love trying to feel like the, just the, the waiting game because you know that just one Bowser side B can oh, do it. Oh, wow. But and you and how many times have we seen in the last 15 minutes have we seen some guy just punish people who try to recover low and snap the ledge? And the, the, the scariest thing about it is that it's with multiple different moves in multiple different situations. Like, that is clearly a situation that some guy has scouted out and is performing effectively well on tonight. Inside his flame breath too. Again, Dila off to a early start. Gets Landing hit, no second back air. Looking for the jump call out. Gets oh, the, the trip tri on oh. Fto, but wasn't ready to react for it. But finds a grab anyway. That had to have been a missed input. That's a dead Bowser otherwise. Well, maybe not. Not that percent. Yeah, he's at That's a hurting Bowser. Hey, it is a it is a Bowser in pain. As we get, yep. it's near it's near mode time. Flipping the bears and gets caught with another up tilt. These pivot up tilts, not only pivot, these pivot turnaround up tilts covering so much space. Taste the rainbow. I mean, a lot more than rainbows in those claws. Yeah. Finds the grab, gets the up throw, and oh no! The one time he doesn't down smash. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I mean, he was and looking now for the eating sure kill. oodles and doodles of damage there. Gets another grab, up throw, into the thunder as that confirmed clips on the big body. Some guy still has those at 95. And All he needs a little bit of a starter, a little bit of mix perhaps, a little bit of loops. Oh. <laughs> a little bit of landing coverage, maybe? Oh, didn't get the trip there. But still, is it still has been the vortex. And Ooh. we saw this before. Game one against Gatsby. We saw it here. Game one against Dila. How do you respond when this Pichu just snatches your life away from you before your eyes? How do you respond? Do you go to town and city, apparently, which, I mean, proved fatal for Gatsby, so who knows? Right, right exactly. It's, it's been working for Dila, more or less, for a, a couple of his sets. Who knows it will continue to work. Pichu Bowser is not known to be the greatest of matchups for Bowser, but some guys Pichu, it takes a beating and holds on and comes through in the clutch. Right. It ate its Wheaties today. Now, the fact that Dila the has counter, the, the, the fact that Dila has now counter picked a town and city against both Pichu and Pokemon Trainer, um, to me, indicates that this is not an anti-opponent counter pick, this is a pro Bowser counter pick. He wants those platforms, he wants those kill percent, uh, he wants those kill percents lower, and he wants those combo extensions for whatever combo extensions can Bowser can get. It's a down throw fair, but I love the fact that some guys are like, yeah, I'm going to use these platforms. I'm going to reset my resources. I'm going to hold on tight. And you're going to get eat this Bowser bomb, the flying, uh, excuse me, the flying slam. This game's yeah. even. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Dag down. Good air dodge. But that's a, that's a card you can't play too many times in a row. Pichu is so, some guy is just so quick mm. with it all and finding that backer out of shield. Dila, on a bigger character, that would have worked. But the fact of the matter is, it's Pichu. And the, the, the bread and butter, the autopilot, not, uh, autopilot's a very ugly word, but it does apply, it does describe a rather useful concept in practice. Um, and the autopilot, they're not really doing Dila any favors, where again, again, normally that would work. And once again, some guy makes an incredible comeback game one, some guy runs away with game two and runs right into Grand Finals. What a run! He just keeps going. This man lost in pools. Yeah. He made it through top 16 winner side. Let's find out who he lost to. Please. As I really Please. love how Dila in, like, just engaged in immediate conversation afterward, not taking the mm -hmm. loss too hard. He understands like that some guy's playing extremely oh, yeah. well right now, but he's embracing the spirit of Arc in Arcadian. That's that right. 
yeah, I'm here to learn just as much as. Uh, hi, Delta. This is this is uh, this is not uh, Dilo's first rodeo. No, not not at all. As so let's find out where some guy lost because he was in pool two, and we get to go all the way down. He was here. He beat Delta the Mario. He overcame SPT, overcame Booty. So he lost in round this round. This round right here. Zapdos over Squade, Luigi's over Haze, Comics over KGP, Soul over Jules. He lost to Noku. Oh, oh. Oh, and he's getting coaching between sets too. That is Con Con. The ah. Now, Con Con, most known for his uh, his uh, female roster, his, his bevy of thoughts, as he likes to put it. I don't, okay. All right, I'll let you finish this one. I mean, that, that's just. Yeah, no, 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 no. That is, there are people in the world. <laughs> Connor, most known for characters like Min Min, characters like Bayonetta, characters mm. like Rosalina. Like, those are his, like, primary characters. So, mm. he was making jokes that you had to play a, a a female character in order for him to coach you. But we see him here coaching out some guy and really a heavy offense and heavy uh, advantage style characters kind of fit in his wheelhouse. I do believe Flower, uh, Flower Pichu is female. Not Cheers. Not Cheers. Fits the bill. True. There, you heard it. There we go. There you go. There we go. It's not just uh, not just chopped liver up here. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got we got the gendered differences of the Pichu. Very nice. Yeah, love to see it. As we will have to see if he can overcome. Because not only did some guy like speed run through much of losers, including right. getting the run back on. Right. Move. Yep. Very clean stuff. He's got to now overcome the number one seed of this tournament. Which is, I think, anybody, like, if, you, if you're going to win an Arcadian, like, you're already going in without the opportunity to take any names off of PR players. So you might as well get an upset or two on the way. Absolutely. I completely agree. And some guy is here to try and play spoiler. Of course, this will be all best of three. Mm -hmm. As we got a nice glimpse at the Look venue. at these crowds. <laughs> Look at these. Yeah. New, everybody's. Uh, this was what Literally I Literally dozens of people remaining here to watch... Uh, to watch Grand Finals. Which is awesome. I'm yeah. so glad to see it because most of the time, the venue like starts to thin out about this yep. time. But no, we've got players excited for Grands, excited for how they played, excited to keep playing and keep learning and experiencing I, more and more. I, 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 I gotta tell you, literally,